Hello and welcome to the Narc Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, my lovely lurts, and welcome back to the Narc Alert. Well, I'm so busy, I don't even know what day it is, so I hope you're having a really good week, no matter what day it is. It seems our Goro Amber has been very busy, too. She has a lot of free time, though, since she quit the eating disorder program. I wonder if she'll find a way to fill in those extra 10 hours a month. Let's have a look and see what she is up to. Okay, you guys, it is time for another Amazon unboxing. My girlfriend is opening it for me. This is an odd bit of theater we get every video. Amber standing by, making sure we know her girlfriend opens boxes for her. People with traits of NPD want everyone to see how loved they are, and significant others must prove love and demonstrate loyalty. The girlfriend seems to be catering to Amber's every whim lately. These were purchased by moi. The box is pretty massive, so... So the first thing we have here, <laughs> it is the pink stuff. It's the Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleaner, but this went viral. I'm, I'm looking at my girlfriend, by the way. <laughs> I got a dog food one. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys saw my last video, I got a new cat food container. Also got a dog food one. Wanna open it? Translated from Narcanese. Do you want to show me and my audience once more how much you love me by doing what I ask? I'm capable of doing this, but I want you to jump through this little hoop for me. Thanks. <sighs> Today we're going to explore if, why, and how you should use treats when teaching your girlfriend. It is a salt and pepper grinder. This is my next one. <laughs> oh my god, I wish you guys could see her. She's so cute. But look at how aesthetic they are. Are you ready? I'm so excited. You're going to die. All right, ready? Do you like it? I love it. Okay, so I don't know if it came with salt and pepper. We might have to get that. You probably have to buy some. <laughs> but it... Oh my god. So we can get like pink Himalayan. Okay, we can do that. So you like it, baby? Yeah, I like it, baby. Oh my god, they're so aesthetic. I literally love... You're doing such good stuff. I know. Mm. Since the girlfriend will not appear on camera, Amber has been reduced to leaving in small, useless clips of them interacting to prove to us how she is loved. Amber filming herself talking to her girlfriend the whole video is just not it. So this is the dog tree container and the dog food container, and we have matching cat food and cat treat ones. So look at this tiny box. Oh, she tried. I put it down and I was like, Rarity, put your booties in there. And she actually tried. Try again. Try again, right here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Babe, look at this. <laughs> Tweaky? Oh my God, you are so special. Like, okay, you guys, taste test with Amber Lynn. Do not mind. We have a messy pantry right now. Okay, so we're gonna do a taste test. Listen, Fruity Pebbles is like my fave. So, currently in my life, I am actively losing weight. They came out with a snack, Fruity Pebbles Crisps. Let's do it. Okay, taste test. Is it less calories if you call it a taste test as opposed to eating a bag of sugary snacks? And if anyone's wondering, 140 calories, if you are curious. So, so let's dive in. Oh, wait, what? 
why was okay i was expecting these to be like this big and like kind of puffy but they're bigger and they're like flat okay it literally looks like a party in a bag you want to try one babe with me oh we got a taste test okay <laughs> we're gonna rate it out of 10. okay ready This is fat girl in a bag. Amber's face never shines as bright. Her smile is never wider than when she's eating garbage. You can see a visual change in her face. Wait, this is so good. Wait, she's spitting it out. Well, remember, I don't like fruity pebbles. She doesn't like fruity pebbles. So this is coming from someone who hates fruity pebbles and then coming from someone who loves them. It tastes a little better. Oh! The initial is shock value to the taste buds. Please get on cam or, at the very least, talk closer to the mic. Raising the volume each time the partner speaks is annoying. Because you don't like fruity pebbles. Yeah. Aw, baby, you tried them for me. Yeah, baby. Thank you. I love you. So, if you like fruity pebbles, try them. You guys? <laughs> I just thought of something bomb. I'm just going to try it this one time. Because calories. I am actively losing weight. I'm going to put a little bit of... Okay, let's just do it. Let's just try it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Because this is so important. How is putting high-fat cream cheese on a Fruity Pebbles chip more important than saving your life? You know this is going to be good. Okay. I'm just going to do a smidgel... 13 signs that you're a quirky girl. You eat a disproportionate amount of American snack foods. A friend comes to you with a difficult problem and your solution involves a cupcake. Because I just feel like I have to try it. Best thing I ever ate. <laughs> Best thing I ever ate. <laughs> On this episode of Real Chef Tips, we're going to be talking about the five basic tastes so that you can understand ingredients, flavors, your palate in order to formulate better dishes. She done new. Oh, this tastes like a straight up dessert. <laughs> Goodbye. Watch how Twinkie walks over this. Oh, such a good girl. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm kind of having like a bad day today, like a bad mental health day. Did you know that the way you eat, move, and sleep can actually impact your mood? Um, and I'm also sad because like, I was going on like five days with no binging, but last night I I want to consider like massively overeating as a binge, so it did happen last night. These are honestly so therapeutic. If I like feel like binging or like doing something that I shouldn't, like picking my skin, this helps. But I downloaded this app where you can like track like you're binging. Dr. Reed always knows better. She quit her eating disorder program, but now armed with up to 10 hours of doctor's visits, all she needs is another new app to fix everything. How long you've gone without binging, or you can track anything really. So um, I'm doing that. So that means I have started over. So let's go longer than five days. So the life altering support and motivation from the new girlfriend failed. The scratchy notes failed. The eating disorder program failed, but willpower and a new app is the solution. Sure, Jan. Uh, yeah. Also, I do want to show you guys <laughs> just a couple more. Beyond therapeutic. And yes, I will continue showing you guys these. It takes 30 seconds out of my vlog. It'll be okay, I promise. People have been complaining about the weeks of doodles she is subjecting her audience to. But like a good narcissist, she cares little about what her audience wants. This is for her satisfaction. Complaining about it may cause her to do it even longer to prove her point. So I wanted to show you the app that I've been using to track 
don't worry, not sponsored. It's called Eating Disorder Recovery, and there's only 281 reviews, which is so crazy, but this is how I filled it in today. How frequently are you preoccupied with food? Always. How frequently do you evaluate yourself based on your meals? Frequently. Um, how frequently do you evaluate on your size? Blah, blah, blah. Of course, I said always to all of that. Then I clicked more of like, tell me more about your day. And the only one here, or the only few things is like, you know, I'm dieting. They came out with a snack, Fruity Pebbles Crisps. Let's do it. I feel guilt and shame. Um, I do have some mood swings, but hey, I'm bipolar high. Um, and then I wrote, you know, a little note down. I love this section to like, just remember how you were feeling when you put this. So day one of no binging, angry with myself for ordering McDonald's last night, which is what I binged on. So I also wanted to answer the questions as like how I used to be. People with traits of NPD tend to fuel themselves up constantly, always looking for things to feel accomplished about. Here, she is refilling out the app, choosing the very worst possible answers to make herself feel better about her present answers, deluding herself further into thinking she is accomplishing her goals. So obviously, always to those, and then almost every single one of these I clicked yes. Eating excessive amounts, eating rapidly, eating without hunger, fasting, eating in secret, like the whole nine yards. And here, I kind of just wrote about how I need to accept my accomplishments and, like, be aware of them and be proud of them. But I also don't want the accomplishments to be an excuse for me to try less. But I do want to be aware that I have made progress, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want me to be like, oh, look how much better I am, and then become lazy. Instead, I want the success I've had so far to motivate me to continue. So don't mind all this because we're in the middle of doing laundry. We just put down new clean sheets. But look at this cat right here. She literally lives here rent free. Like, look at this. But then look at this dog right here. Rent free. Look at them. <laughs> so I'm currently on a walk. And I just almost saw a car crash. Literally scared the shit out of me <laughs> but oh my god you guys it feels so good out right now wow i think that walking for the people asking about me wearing flats they're actually more comfortable for me because they're actually something like i'm used to your opinion no matter how valid is unimportant to people with traits of npd they will never miss a chance to correct you Love me a stare moment. So I currently have an unhealthy relationship with the scale. I weighed myself before the walk, and now I'm gonna weigh myself after to see what happened. What the heck? I literally lost 0.8 of a pound. Walk 20 minutes, lose almost a pound. Gosh. If only she knew how easy this was going to be ages ago. It must be very challenging to be a weight loss channel and not want to discuss your weight. Let's hope she figures it out. Oh wait, wait! She's a lifestyle vlogger now. Well, it all makes sense. I can't wait to see what exciting new thing Amber has to show us in her new lifestyle vlog. I'm sure you're as excited as I am. If you like the video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. You can subscribe or maybe even pick up a channel membership. Hey, that'd be cool. You know, they're pretty cheap. Thank you so much for joining me. Until we meet again, please be kind and hasta luego.